Ever since I was a little girl, nestled in the safety of my bedroom, the enchanting world of fairy tales beckoned to me. Those tales, filled with magic and wonder, were my first introduction to the power of stories. As I present Cinderella, the code on the stroke of midnight to you, it feels like coming full circle, combining the magic of yesteryears with the realities of our modern world. Cindy's journey, while unique in its unfolding, is universal in its emotions. Like her, we've all navigated the maze of dreams, challenges and self-discovery. Through her story, I've attempted to bridge the gap between our cherished fantasies and our daily realities. My deepest hope is that as you turn each page, you not only immerse yourself in Cindy's world, but also rediscover a piece of yourself. Thank you for joining me on this magical journey. And now, let us begin. Chapter 1 Echoes in the Code In a bright and bustling city full of tall buildings and zooming electric cars, lived a girl named Cindy. This city was amazing. People in cafes chatted with magical holograms while drinking hot cocoa. Cindy lived in a cosy little house with her computer full of big dreams. She loved coding and creating new worlds with her keyboard. But her family, especially her stepmom and stepsisters, Isolde and Maelis, didn't understand why Cindy loved coding so much. Isolde would say, Cindy, are you still playing with those numbers? And Mylis, always looking at her phone, would joke, Do you even remember what the sky looks like? But Cindy always replied with a smile, I'm making my own fun world, one button at a time. She loved solving computer puzzles and felt really proud when she did. One day, an exciting message popped up on Cindy's computer. It talked about a big gaming contest for young coders. Cindy's heart raced. She wanted to join and show everyone her amazing game. But she needed to ask her family first. Cindy approached them bravely. I want to join this gaming contest. It's my chance to shine. Isolde laughed. A contest for computer games? Maelis giggled. Maybe you'll meet a gaming prince there. But Cindy said firmly. It's not just a game. It's a dream come true. After a while, her stepmom said... All right, you can join. With a happy heart, Cindy started preparing for the contest. She worked hard, even when her stepsisters teased her or asked her to do chores. At night, when everyone was asleep, Cindy's computer world lit up with fun characters and exciting quests. The day of the contest was getting closer. Cindy was nervous but also really excited. She had made something special and she couldn't wait to share it with the world. She was ready to show everyone the magic of coding. Chapter 2 Hidden Realms of Pixels The city was quiet and calm, like it was wearing a big, dark, soft blanket. Each window in the tall buildings had its own little story. But tonight, Cindy's story was the most exciting. In a room, everything seemed peaceful, but for Cindy, it was buzzing with energy. It wasn't a fancy place, but it was filled with dreams and adventure. With her old computer by her side, Cindy was on a mission. To anyone else, it might just sound like tiny clicks and soft computer noises. But for Cindy, it was like she was speaking a magical language. Some might think her computer is old and not very special. But for Cindy, it was a magic door to exciting places where she could create amazing games. With every button she pressed, she made a new part of her game, like a wizard casting spells. As she typed, she thought of places where the skies went on forever, and brave heroes faced exciting challenges. In this game world, Cindy wasn't just a girl with a computer, she was a leader, making things happen. As the sun began to rise, making the sky pink and gold, a message popped up on her screen. It was a notification from the event organiser reminding her to submit the requirements and to confirm her participation. Her heart raced as she read the message. This was her chance to share her dream with others, to show that her ideas were special. It felt like a big adventure was waiting for her. Taking a deep breath, she typed her reply. Every click was filled with hope and excitement. When she finally pressed send, it felt like she started a new chapter in her story. 
In her cozy room, surrounded by dreams and wishes, Cindy was ready. She was not just any girl. She was a coder with a dream, and she was going to light up the world with her amazing game. Chapter 3. The Code Fairy's Gift In the bustling city, Cindy had a secret. During the day, she assisted around the house, sweeping floors and helping with tasks. In the evenings, just before bedtime, she turned into a computer whiz. Settling in front of her trusty computer for a couple of hours, she conjured up wonderful games. It was as if she possessed a unique gift that remained undiscovered by the world. One evening, a kind soul named Miranda stumbled upon Cindy's game concepts on the internet. Miranda, a seasoned game maker herself, recognized the brilliance in Cindy's work. Intrigued and impressed, she reached out to the budding game developer. Their online conversations blossomed, with Miranda playing the role of a mentor, guiding Cindy and cheering her on, much like a fairy godmother. One sunlit morning, an exquisite surprise awaited Cindy outside her door. A state-of-the-art gaming console and a luminous keyboard stood before her. Accompanied was a note from Miranda, to the enchanting game maker. Utilize this to bring your dreams to life. Overwhelmed with emotion, Cindy knew this was the catalyst she needed for her gaming journey. With bubbling enthusiasm, she arranged her newfound treasure. The illuminating keys seemed to dance beneath her touch. With this advanced gadget, Cindy was sure she could demonstrate the allure of her games to everyone. She felt as though she had stepped into a storybook poised to make her grandest dreams materialize. Nightly, after dinner and before her well-deserved rest, she devoted her time to refining her game. The computer hummed, the keyboard radiated, and Cindy's spirit soared. She envisioned herself presenting her masterpiece at a grand gaming competition. When dawn broke, Cindy resumed her everyday routine, but with a newfound twinkle in her eye. Her evenings held a magical secret. Her heart was light, brimming with anticipation for the eventful day. Chapter 4 Dance of the Avatars As the sun tucked itself in for the night, Cindy's room began to twinkle not from the stars outside, but from the glow of her brand new virtual reality console, a gift from her best friend. The shiny console, paired with her rainbow-coloured keyboard, promised an adventure she had eagerly awaited all day. She felt a flutter of excitement mixed with a smidge of nervousness. Kids from corners of the world were diving into the same digital realm, ready for the coding adventure. Picking up her new console, she whispered, ready for adventure. Slipping it on, her familiar bedroom transformed into the shimmering halls of the virtual palace, dazzling with neon lights and funny, playful avatars. Welcome back, coding champions, to the annual Code Quest, chirped a cheerful digital bird. In a twirl of pixels, Cindy became Star Cinder. Dressed in a gown stitched from stars and dreams, she was a coding prodigy in this realm. With every challenge she cracked, her avatar danced amidst virtual fountains and fireworks. The palace was a maze of fun puzzles, riddles and mysterious doors, each awaiting Cindy's coding expertise. As Star Cinder, she danced through the quests, her every command making the palace come alive in a dance of colours. From the corners of the palace, fellow avatars cheered. Star Cinder is amazing, they chanted, sending waves of warmth to Cindy's heart. Prince, the genius who designed the virtual palace, watched in admiration. Who is this coding wizard, he thought, thoroughly impressed. As the digital clock nudged closer to bedtime, Cindy felt a slight heaviness. She'd soon have to trade this magical world for the reality where her love for coding was often met with puzzled looks from her stepmother and stepsisters. The shimmer of the palace dimmed momentarily, sensing Cindy's emotions. But the avatars weren't about to let their star go without a grand salute. For Star Cinder, they chanted, lifting her spirits once more. And then, a special notification pinged on Cindy's console. 
Star Cinder, your coding magic lights up our world. Remember, this palace will always be here, waiting for you. Prince. A comforting warmth settled in Cindy's heart. It was time to log off, but she knew she would always have the virtual palace to return to, a place where her talents were celebrated and cherished. She drifted off to sleep with dreams of codes, stars, and a palace where she was the coding princess. Chapter 5. Fractured Code at Midnight Cindy's room looked like a contrasting strokes of technology and darkness. An electric ballet of white light played on her screens, synchronising with the city's silhouette to create a dance of ghostly shadows. But amidst this techno symphony, an intrusive cry broke the rhythm, a stark dissonance. Cindy! The call, laden with impatience and a sense of command, was akin to an alarm going off at the wrong hour, smothering the ambient hum of Cindy's digital realm. That word was a tether, a reminder of a world of expectation and hidden disdain. Coming, mother, Cindy responded, her voice wavering between annoyance and anxiety. Once graceful fingers that glided like a virtuoso over keys, now hastily darted across trying to script a digital adieu. Every keystroke felt like dragging feet, reluctant to rejoin the less enchanting reality. As she vacated her digital throne, the screen spotlighted her departure, an abandoned chair amidst a glowing ballroom, the dance floor where Star Cinder once reigned supreme. The joyous digital realm now felt a tad emptier, its inhabitants puzzled looking for the luminary they had lost. A heaviness loomed in the room, marking Cindy's abrupt exit from her fantastical narrative. Yet amidst her rushed goodbye, a symbol twinkled, a tiny star icon. More than just pixels, it was her legacy, her mask, her secret. It might seem trivial to the casual observer, but to the inner circle, it was a breadcrumb, a hint, a digital glass slipper pointing towards Star Cinder's true identity. Each heartbeat, magnified in the stillness, marked her premature departure from her constructed paradise. The radiant digital dominion now seemed galaxies away, dimming faster than a fading dream. Outside, the usually radiant city skyline mirrored her mood, a muted glow replacing its vibrant shimmer. She found herself enveloped by the combination of the vast digital world and the confines of her room. Midnight's chimes, like mournful hymns, signaled the end of her virtual escapade and the irony of her real-world predicament. Rising, she could almost feel the ghostly touch of the keys, remnants of her digital ballet. With a final, longing look at her silent screen, she remembered the joy, the dance, the magic. Leaving her dream chamber, she didn't just exit a room, she departed a world where her soul found freedom. However, the legacy of her performance embodied in that starry emblem was creating a whirlwind of intrigue in the virtual galaxy. Emerging into the real world, the sterile lighting felt blinding, wiping away the lingering magic of her digital journey. The living room's dim luminescence distorted reality, magnifying her stepmother's imposing presence. Her piercing gaze intensified by the room's shadows, fixed upon Cindy with hawk-like precision. Isolde and Mylis, basking in their perceived superiority, watched Cindy with a mix of envy and contempt. Cindy! Her stepmother's tone was icy and accusatory. Your one duty tonight was laundry. Was your digital diversion more vital? Swallowing hard, Cindy's voice barely rose above a whisper. I got lost in it. The room's ambient sounds seemed to underscore her words, each tick of the clock amplifying her vulnerability. Isolde scoffed. Forever lost in her digital daydreams, it's just pixels, Cindy. A pointless pursuit. Her dismissive wave towards the sanctum seemed laden with derision. Mylis leaned in, her silhouette ominous. Maybe we should permanently unplug your little fantasy, she murmured with a menacing undertone. Cindy's heart fluttered like a butterfly. The thought of not being able to play her favourite game made her so sad. When her family laughed and told her to stop playing, she replied with a wobble in her voice. I promise I'll be more careful. She rushed to her room where she felt safe and happy. Her computer was her magic window to many adventures. But today her screen showed a picture of herself and she looked a bit tired. Every time she remembered the claps and cheers from her online friends, she felt both happy and sad. Outside, the city looked sleepy, 
and her room felt a little less cosy than usual. She wiped away a tear, thinking of the fun games and stories she created on her computer. But in the online world, something exciting was happening. Everyone was talking about Star Cinder, a name Cindy used for her games. They loved the special star symbol she used. They were trying to guess who Star Cinder really was and what her star meant. Suddenly her computer chimed. It was past bedtime, but in her magical game world, time didn't matter. She saw a new message from someone. They said, Star Cinder, I love playing your game, but you left so quickly, are you okay? She blinked away more tears. Even if this world was inside a computer, it felt really warm and caring. She replied, thank you so much, I just had to leave for a bit. Soon, many messages popped up. Everyone loved her games and wanted to play more. They even started a special chat to guess what her star sign meant. It felt like a big, fun puzzle, and everyone wanted to solve it. Back in her room, she could barely hear her family's laughter. The kind words online were much louder and nicer. Every adventure has its ups and downs. But Cindy knew that with her computer, her creativity and her new friends, she could create magic. As morning light peeked in, she decided she was going to be the best game maker ever. And so, as a new day started, Cindy was ready to share her magic with the world, in her room and beyond. Chapter 6. The Quest for the Elusive Algorithm Prince's big office was way up high, like a tower. It was full of bright screens, showing lines of special computer language called code. Outside, there were twinkling lights from the city, making it look like a starry night. But inside, one star shape on a screen shone the brightest. Every night, Prince thought about Star Cinder. She was super good at coding and playing computer games. He remembered watching her at a game event. Her character jumped and moved so smoothly, telling a story. It was like magic. He leaned in his big chair, thinking, who could Star Cinder be? On his computer, lots of people were talking about her. They all wanted to know who was behind this amazing player. Prince touched his screen and whoosh! He was inside a colourful digital world. It was like a big fair with people from all over chatting and laughing. Some were talking about Star Cinder. One person said, did you see how she solved that puzzle? Amazing! Another person whispered, some say she's a magic computer ghost. Yet another giggled or maybe a super smart computer program. Prince smiled, listening to the stories. To him, Star Cinder wasn't just a game character. She was like a song he wanted to learn or a story he wanted to read. He left the digital fair, thinking hard. Prince knew Star Cinder was special. It wasn't about finding out her real name. He wanted to learn about her dreams and why she loved coding so much. In this big digital world, there were so many players. But some, like Star Cinder, brought a special touch, making the game feel alive. Prince decided he would search every corner of this computer land to find and meet her, not because of a challenge, but to find a friend who loved the magic of code as much as he did. As the city got ready for bedtime, all tall buildings looked like big, shadowy giants. Prince felt like he was starting a big, exciting adventure. He felt the night telling him, your journey is just starting. The morning after the big game competition, Prince's office was so quiet you could hear a pin drop. There was a cool cup of cocoa on his table next to a bright screen that said, Star Cinder, the best player ever. Prince kept thinking about Star Cinder. Watching her play was like hearing a story. Every move she made told a part of that story and Prince was hooked. It felt like reading a mystery book and finding new clues each time. He tried to find out more about her from the game's records. He felt like a detective, looking for clues. But it was a big task. Bite! Prince called out to his best friend and coding buddy. We have a mystery to solve. As the day went on, Prince and Bite searched and searched. It felt like they were in a maze, trying to find a way out. After hours of looking, Bite was really tired. Prince chuckled. Bite, you need to rest. We'll solve this puzzle tomorrow. But even after Byte left, Prince kept on searching. In the dim light of the room, his screen's glow was like a lighthouse guiding ships. He felt like he was so close to solving the riddle. And then, a clue. Hidden in all the game data was a tiny note. Cinder, Ella, Starlight, Cinderella Starlight. 
prince gasped. Could Star Cinder's real name be Cindy? Meanwhile, in another part of the city, a girl named Cindy sat in front of her computer. She loved to code, and her eyes sparkled with dreams. She hoped that one day, everyone would know how good she was. As the city slept, Prince and Cindy, without knowing it, were closer to meeting than they ever had been. The next day was going to be an exciting one, filled with new stories and adventures. Chapter 7. The Heart's Source Code In the bustling city, everyone was talking about the same thing. Who is Star Cinder, a.k.a. Cindy? Big screens on buildings showed the message, and everyone wanted to know who she was. In his big room filled with screens and games, Prince sat wondering. He kept looking at the big hint he had. Cinderella. Starlight. Cinderella Starlight. Could it be that the best gamer, Star Cinder, was actually a girl named Cindy? Not too far away, in a cosy room surrounded by big buildings, Cindy woke up to her phone buzzing like crazy. Oh no, they found out about me, she thought, feeling a mix of excitement and worry. Cindy sat in front of her computer thinking hard. What if they meet me and don't think I'm special anymore? She wondered. But another voice in her head said, What if they see how great you truly are? That night, Cindy made a big decision. With a bit of nervousness, she typed a message to Prince, telling him all about how she became Star Cinder. How she worked late into the night, how she loved coding, and how she wanted to make the best games ever. In his room, Prince was surprised and happy to see Cindy's message. He was amazed by her story and wanted to meet her right away. Wow, Star Cinder was here all along, he thought. Cindy, after sending her big secret, felt a mix of feelings. Did I do the right thing? She wondered, thinking about times when things didn't go as planned. But she remembered all the fun she had making games and how happy it made others. In another part of the city, Prince was excited. He typed a message back to Cindy saying, You are amazing, Cindy. Let's make games together. As the city woke up to a new day, Cindy and Prince, though miles apart, felt like they were about to start a big, exciting adventure together. They were ready to create magical games and stories for everyone. And just like that, the adventure of Star Cinder and Prince had only just begun. In a bright office across town, Prince's phone lit up with a special note titled, Star Cinder. Reading the words, his excitement bubbled over. The amazing gamer and coder, Star Cinder, was actually Cindy. He couldn't believe he'd found such a superstar. Without a second thought, Prince invited Cindy over. The girl who once stayed quietly in her room was now stepping into the spotlight. The next morning, wearing her favourite outfit, Cindy stood in front of Prince's shiny office building. Her heart raced with excitement and nervousness. It was all so new and big. Soon she was guided into Prince's office, where he stood waiting. Cindy, Prince greeted, smiling warmly. Or should I say Star Cinder, meeting you is a real treat. Cindy blushed, replying, It's wonderful to meet you too, Prince. As they chatted, Cindy felt like she was in a dream. Prince appreciated her coding skills, making her feel truly special. She wasn't just any gamer, she was Star Cinder, the gaming sensation. When Prince offered her a place in his company, it felt like a storybook ending. Leaving the building, Cindy felt proud and happy. She wasn't just dreaming anymore, she was making her dreams real. At home, everyone saw her differently. Isolde and Malis looked up to her, and even her stepmother seemed surprised. Cindy had become the city's shining digital star. That evening, as she dove back into her coding, Cindy felt a new chapter beginning. Her life was now an exciting tale, one she was writing herself. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, Prince was filled with anticipation. He had discovered Star Cinder, and he couldn't wait to see the wonderful things they'd create together. As the city slept, their dreams intertwined, full of endless possibilities and amazing adventures. 
The tale of a modern Cinderella was unfolding, but this Cinderella wasn't just waiting for magic to happen, she was creating it. In this story, Cinderella was not only a dreamer, but a doer, a coder, a shining star.